with Steve Redgrave. Um, Steve, uh, unless my memory has gone a bit awry, weren't you a rower? Oh, many, many, many years ago. Uh, almost ten years ago, that's the scary thing about it. Uh, I, I love my winter sports, so I'm a very keen skier. Um, actually uh, uh, qualifying to be a ski instructor, so uh, very much involved. But uh, uh, my claim to fame of Winter Olympics is that um, uh, I've just missed out on the Caribbean Olympics in 88 and made it the team. Uh, won the British Championships in a four-man bob, did a couple of World Cup races, uh, but that was all back in the uh, back in the 80s. But always keep a very close eye on it and seeing what the guys are doing. And uh, 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 know Shelley Rudman very well, so uh, looking forward to uh, going out here and, and seeing her race. Hopefully go one better than she did four years ago. So you were close to featuring in both, in 88 we're talking about, the winter <coughs> and the summer Olympics. If you go back a bit, there was a guy called Eric Hyden, who was an American uh, speed skater. He was also on the American uh, cycling team and uh, that uh, he would have gone to the Moscow Olympics but the Americans boycotted it so he didn't get the opportunity of doing that and he probably would have medaled at both. Uh, I didn't think I would ever medal at both but I, I did have this ambition of, of trying to go to, to, uh, to two games. I never knew of what, uh, what sport I might be able to do in the Winter Olympics. Within skiing being a muscular endurance event, especially in the Scandinavian countries, is that uh, a lot of the rowers are very, very good uh, cross-country skiers. The, uh, the Hansen brothers that won gold medal in, in the 76 Olympics, they were um, on the borderline of being uh, um, on, on the team of Norway. If you're on the team of Norway, you're a pretty good cross-country skier. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, with the climate that we've got, even though it's lovely, crisp, cold here today, that uh, winter sports are a bit of a struggle for us all round. So your skiing prowess, are we talking about uh, cross country, are we talking about downhill? Because with the best win in the world, the thought of you coming downhill at great speed, would I would imagine clear a mountain? <laughs> uh, I am, I'm a downhill skier. Good grief. Uh, Jürgen, my coach, always wanted to, us to do cross country. He, he uh, took us to Bulgaria uh, to do a cross country camp for a week and uh, I, I, I quite enjoyed it. I prefer uh, gravity taking over than, uh, than doing the effort myself. Um, but um, uh, yeah, when I retired, that uh, they, the next training camp they went on was San Moritz. I went to Bulgaria, the rest went to San Moritz. Isn't there something not quite right there? They were just waiting for the old boy to retire, I think. <laughs> Now listen, I, I, there's been a few times when I've seen you down at Henley and, uh, and the Thames in December has been pretty close to this ice rink, so you're no stranger to the ice. No, it definitely is. That, uh, uh, Dorney, the 2012 course, is, uh, was frozen two weeks ago. It's now thawed out. Uh, I was there yesterday actually of um, uh, seeing the conditions down there, but uh, it's looking pretty good. They put a new bridge in there, so it's getting ready for, for, for the games. Uh, but it was solid ice, and there were some crazy people trying to walk across it, which was a very, very stupid thing to do. Because uh, we get ice on rivers and lakes, it's never thick enough, so don't try that. Uh, but yeah, now I can remember um, um, uh, the Thames freezing. I think it's uh, froze in Marlow about three times in the 25 years that I rode. Now, why are you here exactly, Steve? You're, you're in an ambassadorial role for the British Olympic Association, and I think it's fair to say, genuinely, we should have a good Winter Olympics. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. We've got a, a lot of opportunities uh, uh, of medals. Is that uh, uh, we never really uh, uh, medal that much at Winter Games, and uh, that uh, if we can pick up more than one or two, that will be a really good coup for, from our point of view. And certainly, there is the, uh, the potential out there. Um, yes, I'm a, a, an ambassador for the team, so uh, uh, I'm going out there watching our, our guys and girls compete and, and, and being part of that, uh, doing some um, uh, work for the sponsors and, and entertaining them, um, and uh, also uh, of, uh, of guiding the Princess Royal around. She knows more about Olympics than I do, she's been to a lot more than I have. Now, there's only one thing more ridiculous than the thought of you on skis going down a mountain, and that's you on a, on a bike. Which leads us <laughs> to, perhaps you'd like to explain. Yes, that um, I turned 50 in a couple of years' time and I've been thinking about doing a challenge and I was thinking about cycling from London to Cape Town. I've decided now that's a little bit too far, but one of the mates that I play a bit of golf with says, well, why don't we do the race across America? 
uh, 3,000 miles. We're doing it as a team of eight, uh, rotating it around. So you're not doing it all yourself. We are uh, spreading it around a bit. But uh, we've got to complete it in eight days. So uh, we're in hard training. This is going to be in June. Really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a very tough challenge, especially if somebody of my size. And uh, most of the most of the uh, the other seven are, are a lot smaller than me, more cyclist size than uh, uh, than rower size. But um, uh, great challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Doing a bit of training. I've done an hour cycling this morning, so I'm sure that's going to put me in good stead. Oh, that I've should to, do it. Yeah. Got to rack up a few more miles uh, in the next couple of months. But uh, yeah, that uh, all doing it for charity, for sport relief, and current relief, uh, which I'm very closely involved. And uh, that uh, no, it's. Uh, it, it's it's going to be good. I'd like to say it's going to be fun, but I think it's going to be pretty miserable, but a great challenge. Well, the thing is, Steve, where you're going to lack in your cycling prowess, I think there's going to be more than one or two op uh, opportunities during the cycle race where you're going to need to dig a little deep. But if nothing else, you've been doing a bit of that yeah, over your no, years. Uh, I think I can dig deep for it. I've done, done that once or twice uh, over, over the years. Uh, the, the, the smallest guy that we've got in our, our team of eight is a very good cyclist. Um, I'm not going to be following him because he's not going to be leaving much of a hole tucked in behind him. Um, but uh, I've said to him that he can do the uphill bits and I'll do the downhill bits. All right. Well, good luck, Steve. Nice to see you and have a, have a great Winter Olympics. And uh, to. Uh, try not to get too involved in the bobsled. I know you want to. Uh, so I'm, I'm based down in, uh, in, in Vancouver, but uh, I want to get up, as, uh, up to Whistler as much as possible. Um, for uh, 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 most of the coaches of a lot of the other countries, the people that I used to sled with many, many years ago, um, and I know Shelley Redman very well, so I'm going to go out and support her. And uh, uh, I might even put uh, some of those long sticks on and have a little play as well.